getting a lot colder in a lot of places right now. So today I'm going to be warming your body up in a way that actually will warm you up. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a marching reaching exercise. So you're just going to stand here and then lift that foot toward that hand. So we're just lifting the leg, lifting the toe, trying to touch. You don't actually have to touch, but you try to kind of aim toward that foot. As you do this, you want to make sure your abs are nice and engaged so there's not a bunch of excess movement through your back. So I'll stand to the side so you can see I've got my deep stabilizing muscles engaged so that I am not having a lot of excess upper body motion as I do this. So I'm really thinking about that, which is a great way to get prepared for riding because of course, we want to make sure we're going with our horse's motion and not having a whole lot of excess motion on top of his body as we ride. This also will be getting your heart rate up. We're getting some good mobility in the joints here. So just a great overall thing to do on a chilly day before you ride to wake up your own body. Your heart rate should be coming up. You should be starting to notice that you may be breathing a little bit harder, which is get, because you're getting that blood flow. The heart's pumping a little bit more blood. You're gonna be warming up a bit. And that's always a good thing before we get on our horse. If you cannot lift your leg as high as I am, go with what you can do. If it's just a little bit of a kick forward, that's wonderful. But if you can go a little bit higher, go ahead and really give it your all so that you'll get warmed up a little bit more quickly. So good job on that. The next exercise, so of course you have to use some balance on that too, so that's a great preparation exercise for riding. And our next exercise is going to challenge your balance as well. We're gonna open up our hips with this a little bit. So we're going to stand on one leg. You can put your hands on your hips, leave them down low, wherever you need. But we're going to start by putting our, we're going to stand on one leg and then lift the other leg out and cross it in front of the body and just these gentle leg swings here to get that body prepared by opening up the hip, really working on our balance, having to engage our abs to stabilize ourselves, noticing our shoulders, are our chest staying open? Are we lifting our shoulders? Are we gripping anywhere? Is there pain or tension anywhere? Are we struggling in any particular way? just really getting into our bodies before we go get on our horse's bodies. And there you go, last one on that side. We're going to shift and do the exact same thing to the other side because we want to be as symmetrical as we can with our asymmetrical bodies. Most of us have a dominant side and we're always working to even things out just like we're always trying to even out our horses' bodies and help them come into balance. So doing balance work off the horse helps us get more balanced in our bodies and hopefully that then helps us help them get more balanced in their bodies when we ride. So great job on this. Just a couple more and there you go. All right, we're going to finish up today's warm up with a hamstring stretch. So you're going to put your foot on the mounting block. If you don't have a mounting block, you can just put your foot down on the ground and bend that knee. But the mounting block sure is handy. So we're going to go ahead and put that there and then just lean forward. Now you're going to think about hinging at your hips so that you're not hunching over. You're going to just bend at the hips and go where you can go. So if you can only go this far, but you feel a good stretch, that's perfect. If you can go a little bit farther, that's really good too. If you can grab hold of that toe and pull it back, that is also great. That standing leg is straight, but you don't want to lock it out. You want to keep it soft so that you could bend it if you needed to. And in fact, if you're in a really cold place and you want to keep that blood flow going, you could be doing a little plie on that leg while you stretch the other leg. So 
here we go and we're going to switch to the opposite side bend forward and reach a little bit deeper when you feel your muscles loosen you can always reach a little deeper and pull that toe back towards you you want to think about your abs being nice and engaged even here and then if you want to add the bending leg in go ahead and do that i said plie because it's really more of a it's not a squat exactly it's not a lunge it's really just bending that knee and keeping that leg moving which will keep that heart rate up and help you stay a little bit warmer before you go do some work on your horse, which should get you plenty warm while you're riding. And a couple more here. And there you go. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in so we get really good and grounded in our own bodies. And then exhale. And one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale. Shake everything out and go have a great ride. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for wa watching. Please like and share and subscribe. See you next time.